Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have another What's on the Shelf. And let's just get into it. We have Wrath of a Shardalon, the board game. Uh, this is a Dungeons and Dragons themed dungeon crawler where you have your characters and you're traveling through a dungeon or exploring a dungeon and you're flipping over tiles and placing tiles and you know fighting monsters and stuff. Uh, my favorite part about this game actually is the miniatures, just because of Shardalon, the giant dragon miniatures. I've painted mine. It comes in red when you buy it at the store, but yep. Uh, Assault of the Giants is another Dungeons and Dragons themed board game where you're going around on the map uh, fighting. There's scaled miniatures, so there's like little tiny dwarfs that are really short. And then there's the giants you play as that are even bigger. But uh, the miniatures in that game are also pretty neat. And I like how the, the doors, or whatever they are, work together. Uh, we have Clank. And everybody likes Clank. You've seen my top games. It was on there. Still one of my favorite games. I love deck building. And I love how the deck building works in this game. Where you're traveling down, trying to steal treasures and get out before you die. And then Clank in Space, which is the same thing, except you're in a spaceship. And I like all the same stuff about it, but this has a modular board, which I like the difference of having the modular board versus, you know, the fixed boards that are in Clank. And the deck building and all the sci-fi references and stuff are pretty funny. And then we have a bunch of Clank uh, expansions. We have Clank in Space Apocalypse and Clank in Space Cyber Station 11, which add... New boards, new cards, all that stuff. You know, pretty good expansions. And then I have the Clank um, Sunken Treasures and Clank the Mummy's Curse. New boards, new cards, a couple new mechanics. And then the Adventuring Party expansion, which adds unique playable characters to the game, which I really like, you know, having... Um, everyone having their own unique starting deck in a deck builder. I like that more than just, you know, the basic version of deck building. And then we have King Domino Age of Giants, an expansion for King Domino, which is right above that. Which adds in the giants and the tower and a bunch of uh, new tiles. And really like King Domino. I've played it a, a lot. <laughs> and then next to that we have Queen Domino. I like the red tiles they added to the game and the knights or whatever. Um, it adds an extra layer to the game and makes it a lot more fun. Bellum Magica. I haven't got a chance to play this yet. I've unboxed it on the channel, but um, I you know, have a lot of fun with Blue Orange games, so it should hopefully be good. And then above that we have King Domino. Like I said, uh, just basic King Domino is a great game. You pull out the tiles. I like you know, drafting the tiles and then placing and trying to figure out how I'm going to make my kingdom square or how I'm going to make it with the castle in the center and all that and trying to make everything fit together. And then King Domino Duel is the same thing, except it's a roll and write. So, and only two players. And it's fast, and if you like King Domino, you'll like King Domino Duel. And that's it for this video. If you liked what you've seen, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below to keep up to date with my latest videos. And as always, have a great day.